into it. Let's get into it. Market outlook. So, I mean, we're getting that kind of pre-election volatility. Um, we've kind of just been, you know, sluggishly moving downward the past couple of weeks after, you know, a great three weeks higher. Um, and we might just be getting that pre-election volatility right now. Market started to sell off end of the day. We're gapping down now after hours. I I'm seeing maybe uh, Chicago's closing indoor dining or something. I don't know. We'll have to uh, dig into that news later. But, you know, I'm not really expecting much out of the market till after the election. We're getting a lot of chop. You know, a lot of headlines every day, a lot of BS. So, you know, there's easy times to trade and there's hard times to trade. I would definitely consider this a more difficult time to trade. Uh, what are your thoughts over there, Ben? You want to pull up that first chart and then we'll scroll through a couple really quick, though. Gotcha. All right. So first one, again, we talked about this in the past. We're in this range about market. It's been choppy. It's been difficult. I kind of drew these support and resistance lines out of where we're looking to take profit and where we're looking to, to add back. Um, but the bigger thing is, again, leading up to this election, and I went back to the last few elections that we've had and just showed kind of, the, you know, how the market reacted post the election. So, Shake, if you want to. Yep, I got, got the last one up. Right. Um, so the last election when Trump won, leading up to that, the big thesis was if Trump won, the market would crash. If Hillary won, the market was going to rage. The complete opposite happened. You know, market was down huge was after so, hours when it was announced. I, I was so short. I was so short. I know. Like, I mean, yeah, we have, crazy day. We have the, oh, yeah, yeah, the, the story. The yeah, lessons yeah, yeah. on it. Yeah. I forgot, I forgot. Um, so yes, yeah, so like the mindset of most traders going into that election was that if Trump won, the market would crash. If Hillary won, the market would rage. The opposite happened. And we had this Trump rally that followed. Going back when Obama was reelected back in 2012, we had about you know, shake. You want to scroll over one chart? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Um, all right. So we had one or two down days, and then again back into you know just post-election rally. Right. And then going back to 08, near the you know the worst financial time that probably anyone watching this has experienced. Obama came in, was elected. We had a little bit of downside that followed. And then we had one of the biggest rallies that's, you know, started in the last, you know, 20 years. The greatest bull run um, in so history. Main, yeah. So, the, you know, a lot of the main major premise here is, and a lot of people that I've been talking with is. Lucky, lucky, shut the hell up. <laughs> is that, um, is that people leading up to the market or leading up to the election, they expect that the market's going to crash and everything's going to, mm -hmm. they got to get in cash and mm -hmm. get in gold where it's, it's easier to kind of stay the course than trying to reinvent the wheel because of an arbitrary date that's going to happen regardless. I completely agree. Um, so with that, we can jump into... And, and I'd like to say that mm -hmm. uh, this probably be our last chart talk for the election. Maybe we'll get one in. But like, I, I'm remaining super bullish for 2021. I think what the Fed's doing, coupled with the economic recovery, I don't care who mm -hmm. wins. You know, I think we're just set up in such a bullish environment for equities that I think 2021 mm -hmm. is going to be such a great year, no matter the outcome of this election. So I'm not very worried. I think um, I'm going to go back to your, your last picture. Obama was reelected where it got that first sudden down move. You know, if, if it's a mm -hmm. Biden outcome, I could see something like that where it's like a quick down move. And then then that macro bullish thesis would kick in later. Mm -hmm. So on a monthly many months out, I, I still remain pretty bullish. I'm pretty excited for next year. Yeah, and that's even for like the average investors. Everyone's so focused on this one point in time when this election happens, and then once that is over, you go on with your life and you go back to you know whatever you're gonna do regardless. You're not gonna be too hamstring on that, and that's just leading up to it. You know, the last election that was like a year long. It was just every day. That's what everyone talked about. But yeah. With what's going on this past year, it's been on kind of the back burner. Yeah. Sick fuck year.